So we all know Synology because they make some of the best network attached storage systems in the business. I myself own one of the DS918 Plus, awesome system, four drive bays, ton of features. And what's best about that system is the interface that Synology provides. What you might not know is that Synology also makes some of the best Wi-Fi routers and mesh routers in the business. So for you guys that are not familiar with the mesh network, it's basically uh, multiple devices or nodes placed strategically in your house or in your apartment or in your business. And what it does, it gives you an overlap so you'll never lose network coverage. So you can see right here, we have one right here, kind of overlaps with the other two and anywhere you go in the household, you should have a network coverage. So today we're gonna unbox and test a couple of Synology's uh, routers. We're gonna take a look at the RT2600AC. Uh, this is their um, gigabit router. And we're also gonna connect the Synology mesh router, the MR2200AC to this system. Now I have two of the MR2200s and I have one of the RT2600ACs. So I'm gonna break this down into three separate videos. The first one, which is this one, we're gonna unbox both devices. We're gonna take a look at the port, see how they mesh. <laughs> with each other. I'm also gonna just take time to get familiar with the device and the concept of a mesh network. Now, before we jump into the unboxing and specs, big shout out to Synology again for sending these products out to me to review. This is not a paid review. However, these products were provided for me to provide honest reviews. So I will be putting Amazon links in the description where you can pick it up. If you guys have any questions about anything, uh, please let me know. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up as well, guys. And first, let's take a look at RT2600. It's a 1.7 gigahertz dual core processor. So it has powerful four x four and so as you guys can see on the photo there, uh, these are two radios, uh, multi-user MIMO, up to 2.53 gigabits per second wireless speed. So let's go ahead and see what's in the box. All right, so first we have an accessory box. This box has an ethernet cable. It also has the AC plug. Here's the router itself. Put that to the side for now. I think you can see underneath, we do have another slight package. We can get rid of the box. So we do have a package, it has the four antennas on here. It also has a quick start guide, so I definitely recommend reading this, just so you can set this up properly, know how to mount everything and get started. So before we mount the antenna, let's go over some of the buttons and ports. So on the left side, we do have a USB 3 port, and this, of course, gives you storage. We also have an eject button, so this is to properly release the device. Uh, you guys may know if you're reading from a drive, you don't want to just go ahead and disconnect it. You want to go ahead and make sure you stop the processes in the background. That way, you can remove it safely without damaging your drive. Another antenna port right here. So on the back, um, starting from left to right, we do have our power switch. We have our DC in. We do have a reset button. We have an antenna right here. We also have another USB port. This is USB 2. We do have WAN port number one. You can see it's labeled. And you do have a second WAN port. So basically this can be used in two ways. This can be used as a backup. So if you guys do have two network connections, so maybe one's from your cable company and the second one could be uh, 4G or 3G uh, as a backup. So you can go ahead and just um, have this as a backup just in case this one goes out. You can also use it for load balancing, which I'll be showing you that in the software a little bit later. You do have another antenna slot. You also have three more ports uh, in addition to that fourth one. On the side, you do have another antenna connection. You do also have a Wi-Fi button, so you can go ahead and quickly disconnect it, turn off the Wi-Fi on and off, and you do have a WPS button for quick connection to your device. On the front, you do have an SD slot, so you can add some additional data there. And of course, on the front, you have the status, you have the 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and WAN 1, WAN 2, we do have the additional four network ports. All 
Alright, so here we are guys, set up, all ready to go. And one thing I failed to mention on the bottom, you do have the hooks right here, and this is so you can mount it on the wall. You guys do decide to go with that option, and you do have some information, we'll be blurring this information out, but you do have a lot of vents on the bottom just to keep your system cool. So let's go ahead and fire it up, and we're going to get into the software. So before we unbox the MR2200AC, let's take a look at some of the specifications. So you can see it's a quad-core 717 megahertz, uh, 256 megabytes DDR3, that's the RAM. It has 2x2 two two high performance internal antennas at 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz. Uh, as far as the ports, you do have one LAN port in the back, one WAN port. It also has USB 3 and WPS power reset Wi-Fi on and off switch. So before we unbox it, focus on the WAN. It does have a WAN, so this can connect directly to your modem, and it does have one LAN port. So essentially, that gives you the ability to use this as a standalone router, but what makes this difficult is because it only has one LAN port. So if you guys were to do that, you might need to buy another switch just to be able to um, plug in multiple devices. So I anticipate most of you will be using this as part of your mesh setup or else you will need to purchase additional equipment. So here we are and let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of the box. Big shout out to Sonali again. And so first things first, quick start guide, I always recommend uh, go ahead and read the instructions guys just to see the limitations, what you can do with this, how to properly set it up and get it configured. So go ahead and check that out. I will be doing the same before I go ahead and get this all set up. And we do have our AC plug right here. Of course, use to power the device. We do have an ethernet cable. And here we are with the actual mesh router. So there we are guys, this is an MR2200 AC. We do have the Synology brand right here on the front. We do have an indicator, this is the signal strength. So it basically shows your connection strength with this device and your router. You have these legs. Of course, this is meant to be stood up like so. You have a lot of vents on the top right here. You also have a lot of vents on the back of the device. Get a closer look here. Take a look at our ports right here. We do have a USB 3 port. Of course, we can use that for storage. We have a, a WPS button. It quickly connect to your network. We have the Wi-Fi on and off. So you can go ahead and quickly disconnect or connect. We do have a LAN port and we do have a WAN port. Now, basically, this can be used as your main router. The negative on that is that there's only one port available. So if you do use this as your main driver, you will need an additional switch just to get more wired ports. However, if you're using it strictly for Wi-Fi, you might be good to go. So you do have the LAN right here. Of course, this will go to the networking device. So maybe your computer or your streaming box or whatever you decide. And of course, you have the WAN and this will go to your actual modem. You have your DC plug-in, you have a power switch, and you do have a reset button right here. So all three devices are ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. We're gonna get into the, the software, show you guys the capability. We're also gonna do a couple of speed tests just to see how it performs.